hey guys and welcome back to my channel so if you don't already know then you need to check out this video right here but if you don't already know then i'm studying abroad in Accra, Ghana, and i'll be here for exactly one month so far we are two weeks into the program and since i've been here i've just been recording little clips and videos that i've decided to compile into this one big video so this video is a week two recap or just my halfway recap of my process so I really feel like I have some cool videos to share with you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see them and just, you know, get a feel of what I've been doing here and kind of how my experience has been going. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. So as you guys already know, I'm studying at the University of Ghana, and this was during orientation. This is my roommate, Yuma. And during orientation, they just gave us an overview of the program and of our class and the things that we be doing while here. After the orientation, we got a campus tour in which they gave us a tour of their very, very huge campus. Y'all, this campus is bigger than any campus I've ever been on. Like, it's absolutely huge. Following our orientation, we learned how to catch the Chotro to and from school. And the Chotro is basically like the jitney. So it's like the transportation system here in Ghana. But we don't use the Chotro like at all. We always just catch Ubers to and from school. But this was a very cool experience, you know, just to have. You no, know, Michael, don't be getting too close now. I'm not really a good This video is of Yuma pulling in Michael's car. So we have homestay, meaning that we stay at home as opposed to staying on campus. So we have a host brother, we have a host mom, and we have host sisters. So Michael is our host brother, and he decided to let Yuma pull in his car. Now we're, we've arrived. I am now licensed. <laughs> So this had to be just about one of my favorite activities that we did this week. So we took a dance class and let me tell y'all. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna even tell y'all. Let me just show y'all. Three, two, four, then one, two, one, two. So we music, and we take it from the top. So this was during the beginning when they was just teaching us and showing us the dance and we were learning. But then by the end of it, we just did it in groups. So that's what this next clip shows when we broke off into groups and then we were able to perform it. So this is us doing it for real, for real. <laughs> Y'all watching this back is everything. Like this was too much fun. I don't even know how to dance, but these people have me feeling like I know how to dance. Like baby, I was in the zone. Like I was I was really having a fun time. Stop, 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 stop,
say the following day after that, me and Yuma went to the hair shop in order to get our hair done. And uh, I ended up like recording a TikTok and making a TikTok. So I'll just input that inside of this video. Let's, I can't wait for the results. Getting my braids done in Ghana. They washed and blow dried my hair. I was chewing tea and out of that gum. Lights cut off, still working. The best forty dollars I've ever spent. Do y'all see my hair? Um, with that being said, if you are ever in Ghana, get your braids done, baby. If you don't get your braids done, what are you doing? Get your hair done, baby. Like, yeah, it was it was a great yeah, time. Here. Oh, and we just got our hair done yesterday. Don't play with us. Y'all see us. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. Y'all can't even spell heart. Period. <laughs> It's good. Like, it don't taste the same. But it still tastes good. Yeah, I feel like fried chicken is fried chicken. Like, you can't really mess that up. So, it was still good to me. And I'm dancing. I'm happy. I'm having a time. Like, it was good. And to this day, I was getting ready to go on an Acro City tour with the program. So, that's what you'll see next. That's how it is. Funny enough. But here in East Legon, because the street names work, when you tell someone that, oh, I'm living on blah, 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 Cairo Street, they know where Cairo Street is. Our first stop of the day was the National Museum of Ghana, and we just got a tour of the museum. To play Ludo. <laughs> so this game is very very similar to sorry so uh, I guess Michael will explain the rules okay so basically um in Ghana you have your home members so you choose a color what color would you choose I choose green green okay so mine is blue but I can have maximum of four members and yeah you need to hit, keep rolling the dice each member rolls the dice when you hit a six oops 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 okay let's say we got a six <laughs> You bring a member out, so you hit a six, you bring a member out. Then the goal is to get your member all the way around and then home. So then who gets home first wins. That's it, basically. Hey guys, so we are currently on the way to an excursion. We're about to get in a taxi <laughs> to go to a bee making workshop. Ran out of bananas because those baboons got really close when we ran out. They got so aggressive, okay. yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Okay. Will, you want to sit right here? Class you want to sit right here, Will? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, really? Oh, thanks so much. I'm trying to find Sandra for you guys, sorry. 
Okay, let's get started. Oh, yeah, that when you're done? Yeah. Are you making it? Actually, I don't know. We can work together like this. Like, what are you making? Uh, I don't, either a necklace or a bracelet, depending on how many weeks I can get. Okay, well, what's up? I think we'll stop here, probably. Okay. That's good. So during this workshop, I made five bracelets, three keychains, and one anklet. And I made these as souvenirs for my family. Like when I get back to the States, I plan on giving this to my family. And I think it's like very cute and very special because it's handmade. Like I made it myself. And yeah, so I'm actually very excited to give it to them. And I think that they came out very nice. And also, you know, it's just all part of the experience. So that was really, really cool. Well, yeah. Credit threshold. I need to have like 64 credits uh, in order to make a full transfer. As you guys can see, my bracelet says Akusia. And that is because Akusia is my day name. So here in Ghana, everyone has a day name. It's a name given to you according to the day you were born. And I was born on a Sunday. So my day name is Akusia. Okay. <laughs> now, just in case this is too big or too small, they could do it themselves. So here we have this blue bracelet. We have some shells. Green. He must have done something pretty bad, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, he did. I'm never going to stop. Yeah. Nobody can slow me down. And we also have some keychains. Oh, so me and Yuma finished making bracelets before everyone else and we started doing TikToks and we had just learned this TikTok she actually just taught me this TikTok the previous night and I feel very accomplished because period I know this line dance now so now I can join in where everyone else is doing it come and get it I'm so excited I can't have my feelings get it I won't stop until we start over and finish Tonight it's all about my baby I'm feeling for you, get me high I can't stop, you feel me right Close the door, bed or floor I just want more, I can't get enough of you Our activity of the day is that we are going to do a tie-dye workshop Oh! oh I'm going to like tap So she basically started giving us a demonstration of how we were to do our tada. And here's a clip of me doing mine. I wanted to do a spiral tada design. So she helped me out with that because y'all, it's harder than it looks. This was my first time doing tada. And the process has begun. Okay, we over here doing some chemistry <laughs> and some hydrochloric acid. It has a funny smell though. I don't know if y'all ever did tie-dye before, but baby, this smell, it's nothing to be played with. It's funky for real. Here, she's just adding the color to my white sheet so that I could get my spiral tie-dye design. And I told her I wanted every color. I just wanted it to look like a rainbow or just be very colorful. Okay, this one is mine. So the first one, we just rinse it. The second one, we rinse it in salt solution too. So that when you wash it, the color will not fade off. I think so. Oh yeah, that's mine. Nice. Yeah, that looks cool. That's nice. Nah, that's um, Lala. Okay, listen, we're home while we here. <coughs> yeah, home. you know what I meant. I say, yeah, shoot, that's one of those things. Home is with them. This is all of the different designs and patterns that the rest of the students did. It's really nice.
so that brings us to the conclusion of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you like comment and subscribe to be alerted when i post another video because i will be dropping more content soon i plan on doing a day in my life so if you want to see that make sure you're subscribed so that you're alerted when it drops and also be interactive with me like tell me what type of content y'all want to see so in the comments if y'all want to see me trying different food or having a day in my life or any type of video ideas that y'all have drop them and let me know but anyways thanks so much for watching i love you guys and i'll see you later between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place because the love you give you can't be replaced